Okay, hello and welcome back everybody. This is going to be another part of the Spartacus Rises campaign. In the uh, last part, we pushed up against the Celts. We took some of these settlements away from them. We obviously took Massilia as well, and we pushed up to Nemaos. We've got a guy moving up onto this one at Vasio, so we can take that. And these guys are obviously going to push up and push into Spain itself, we've got Tolosa, Emporii, and so forth. We'll carry on, get as many settlements as possible off them, and then we can leave these guys here. We've got one, two. Basically, one will go for Mutina, which will probably be that guy, and the army stat will go towards Valencia, or basically Florence, Monday Florence, off the Etruscans. Once we've got them, we have done the campaign. So I think we'll end the turn now. So we can obviously move the guy up in the north to attack. Currently I'm recording this on Thursday night. This should be released for Friday. And I've recorded one part so far for the Colchis, who are the winners of the next campaign, which is for the Black Sea Conleys. I will be up loading that for Monday onwards. So I'm gonna try and get two or three episodes recorded beforehand and then I can Release one Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Massilia. And then we have room to do some extra stuff now once this campaign's done. So let's convert that over first of all, and then we start dealing with the ones making them into twos. Uh, we've got 700. Where's our agent? Your okay, send him back down to deal with this one. And we can use this guy to try and get rid of the spy. The Etruscans have actually moved their troops up now, so we can catch him off guard. We might be alright. Okay, he's going to take a few turns to get there, so... And in the meanwhile... We do have one here raiding with a spy unit. We've got to convert things over first though, but we'll give it a turn, get some money and we can start converting things over and then we can move both of them army stacks up towards Spain. It looks like the Etruscans will probably try their luck as well, so hopefully they get wiped out in the meanwhile with these two army stacks they've got near the city, if not we'll just attack them. We're going to take that one. Oh, maybe not. They've run straight past. Pop the order. And that one. Missilia. Uh, Nemes. Don't actually have enough money, but we'll stick him in there for the Mimo. You can do that on the next turn. It's going to take a little while until we get there, might as well just let them do it naturally. For each time, we get another trade resource as well, which is good. But yeah, I'll probably try and finish off my uh, Valkyrie Chronicles campaign. As this is the third, we'll be two Rome 2 and then we'll have a, another game. I'll probably do the odd episode of Civilization Beyond Death. Depends if people want to watch it or not, but... And then I might start a new home for a mod. Which may be the Kesson mod, that's what I'm thinking of at the moment. It's the best mod, which I think has actually been updated. I have to see, I have to check actually which have been updated for patch 16. If there's any which are, which are campaign mods, then I'll use them. We'll start off with one of them, I mean, so. Let's try and kill this off this bloody agent. There we go. Sweet. Uh, and then whatever else we've got left, we can try and convert over. Do that for culture. And then we've just got to wait. Then turn so the other one can move up. Get in there slowly but surely. Uh, what we got? Come on, guys. 
get through this forest. So if we get it on the next turn, let's convert some more stuff over. We should be alright now, Missilia. Yeah, let's not be silly. Missilia. So, let's move the spire. Okay, there's an army stack there moving up, so let's actually do something about that. Out of the bubble, but what we'll do is obviously move these guys up. Ready for them. So what we're dealing with here. Ooh, very good. Scarry cavalry, we've got some Listani spearmen, gorillas, we've got some mercenary Skatari. So that's quite a good army actually. So they're not finished yet. But we've got them two guys there. So when they move up, we'll obviously poison them as well with our spires, harass them. As much as possible. Silly is getting a better garrison at some point. Okay, that tier's been done now. I think we'll probably go one of these routes. Let's go towards there. Battle speeds, etc. The city has got them two ranked up now, which is good. Um, let me get some food. We can take this one now, but obviously I'll just convert it over properly in the next turn. And then we can start moving these guys southwards as well, which is good. Let's quickly take that. for this all heavy infantry units let's do something for cav give him a little bonus they're currently raiding but let's move him down as well we'll uh, do some actions I'd say let's move him out a little bit And then we should be able to pounce in the next turn. Are we in range? Well, obviously in 45 mode, so they can't, but they should in theory be in range, so hopefully we can. We'll poison them and then we'll move both of them army stacks in to take that one out. Okay, it's actually moved, they're not stupid. Poison. Okay. Let's convert this over. Do that one in the next one. Oh. Probably not in the zone. Moving forward a little bit. <laughs> See if that does anything. Oh, they're going to try their luck, I think, in Missidia. We've got slums. Convert that over. Okay, we've actually got that upgraded now, which is good. We can even do that if we want to as well. So we've got 10 units. Oh, 
But it looks like they didn't actually move anything, so let's try and poison them again. I will see it done. Oh, fuck. Okay. We hunger for battle. Who's the strongest? These guys. We hunger for battle. Advance. Ready for orders. Okay, let's go, go, go. Oh, they actually run up. Make haste, men. They're not silly, are they? At your command. At once. We hunger for Leave none alive! Yes, we got him. Um I think we're auto resolve that one. It's quite in my favour. They got crushed. Ready for order. Laying siege to the we settlement for battle. Uh, let's get them to go back there, they can replenish. Let me see what they've got down here. Okay, there's an army there. Gotta be careful. We'll quickly, quickly take Talosa. They're obviously... Oh, they're making a big push now. It's actually going to attack that. So we'll move that guy back to Massilia. Hopefully that will sort itself out at the minute. Then we can start moving them down as well, which is good. Uh, we'll try and take out this spire. Okay, sweet. Let's take this. There you go. Don't be too silly. So many bloody resources. One here, another one there, another one at El, El Rida. So all three of them, all four of them are going to be like that. And now we can get up to ten armies, which is good. Repair it at least, and then we just we fully convert over battle. the next one. Let's do that. Uh, okay, we have got some army stacks we've got to worry about here. Full one. Okay, let's move them up. So we're not out of the thick of it yet. We need to move this other army stack down. That's the main thing at the moment. 62. We need to try and s sort out this, um, this province and that one can move down. Oh, and they're moving the full army stack now, so they're they're making a push for Massilia big time. Tactical drills. We should be alright, I think. We're gonna move we're gonna have to move this one down. It's gonna take a little while till we get there, but at least this is in Massilia now. That's your command. Okay, let's get this going, and then food, and then we'll convert that one over in the next turn. This army stack's moving down as well, in case anything does kick off. Uh, which we, we have got that full army stack there. Is there any agents? We can see. Move this one back, and we'll move the spire back. So we need to convert things over really to get some more money. Okay. Let's see what they do. They've got obviously most of their units over there now, so. Okay, they're moving back. We 
need to really build another army at some point. Uh, let's convert that one over. Let's do one at a time, I think. I see that I can now get a fleet. Which you may do, you know. How come we cannot raise a fleet? Zero five. Ooh. What's going on, man? Yeah, surely we can build a fleet. Let's just raise the army, that's it. Fair enough, fairy doodles. Maybe because obviously severe the rebels maybe obviously couldn't build anything like that, so it kinda makes sense, doesn't it? Send him up there to deal with that one. So how many settlements we got now? Twenty-nine, so we need three more. And then we can take the final two off the other guys. The Etruscan League. Dun, 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 dun. Human League. Okay, I'll start moving them guys back over in a minute. We need to convert things over, garrison wise. Might stick them in there actually. We need to start getting these three army stacks moving up towards the other settlements then. We're taking Poriai, which is going to be good for money. And one of those settlements. Okay, we need to try and take that one out. Because it'll cause some havoc. Oh, they're making a push now. Okay. They're quite ranked up as well, Jesus. How can I be of assistance? Okay, let's poison these bastards. I'll be in range, Senator. Let's put these in fortified. I was saying that, I'll be in the bubble. Let's move back a little bit so we're in the bubble. If we need to be. Uh, convert this one over. Okay, I think we have to wait because this one's been destructed. So oh, they could attack. We can move them in range if need be. So we need to deal with this army stack. We'll probably do a battle with these guys as well, which is our boy resolve the previous one. We can always get this settlement as well. Oh, we've got so many bloody trades. Trade resources for each of these servants. Right, they need to deal with these as well. Okay, one down. Still this one. There you go, that one's wounded at least. Uh, we might be in range. Oh god, they're gonna get overkilled. is blocked. Your next command ready for orders. For death and Commander. honor. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> They're obviously going to run off then. What do you Okay, it's Wrecked right back is trying so they obviously can't move. Whoops. Left myself a little bit open there. There we go, we're still right. Cool, cool, cool. Ready 
bit stronger. There we go. Obviously they would run, it'd be pretty stupid if they didn't, but we're still going to be in range, so it doesn't matter. Let's move these guys in range now, though. Advance. Is that all? March. Ready for orders. Tell them all. Obviously, you're going to be in my favour, but let's still have a battle for this episode. Also, my guys are going to be streaming in, so they won't be coming in all at once. So they'll still be taking some losses. They're very high ranking, but these ones are as well. That's why I sent them in first. We've got some silver chevrons of our swordsmen. Spears, cavalry and archers dealing against scorpions. Unfortunately we've got chevron for some skirmishes here. Very good on these slingers but we'll use our cab to try and take them out. Pommy. But first things first we need to take out their cavalry and with this first army stack it's going to be quite even so we'll probably wait for the second one to come in before we do anything. But Main strength for theirs is their cavalry. Once we've taken that out, we can swing around and take the slingers. They've only got a couple mediocre spearman units and swords, so even though some of them are quite high level, so I'm mine, so it shouldn't be too bad. Cavalry first, and then we'll try and deal with the slingers or skirmishers, etc. Okay, start deployment. I'm actually on a hill as well, which is good. Which we probably may stay on. Uh, we need to go on this side though, because this is where the reinforcements are. They'll probably stay on that poxy hill, but... No, they won't actually, because... We need to... No, we need to go for this hill. So, let's deploy here. Enemies are right over here anyways. They're probably going to stay there. But let's get people started for me. This is probably all it's going to come through anyways. Because there's only a certain amount of units you can get on the map. But we'll just bolster up the forces we have got with these. Quickly move them over. Uh, where's the generals? General generals first. Burn them over. Double time. Uh, we'll stick. Where's the three? An extra two in there, and then we stick these together and we just have these well, there's quite a lot of them actually in two separates as well it's gonna be a bit confusing but I might as well fast forward it Let's get these units moving in 
Obviously, once we lose some units, some more have been reinforced, but this is the only cab we've got now, unfortunately, so we have to use our spearmen quite wisely here. That's why I put one in each of the um, horse unit guys. Which we will actually move this one up to here. And this one up to about, about here, actually. And we've only got four archers as well. Which are getting fired upon. try and form that easy in a minute. We will take a few losses from their Scorpion unit, but they say they've got shit ton of cab on both sides. So we need to actually send that spear unit over there, don't we? And I just realised they've got some barricades here, haven't they? So we need to obviously avoid that. How about these guys? Come on, zoom, zoom, zoom. And then we start moving some peeps. What we're we dealing with? Obviously, we're getting fired upon with that, but. Javelin, man, javelin, javelin, javelins. So, obviously, all their cab on the side. And a couple of spear units in the middle. Let's move these up, and um, we need to move up these guys over here. Okay, these need to go here as well, around. These need to go on this side. Okay, let's start moving forward, otherwise we're going to take too many losses. With the spearmen units. Okay, I think now we shall move ahead.
Hey, we gotta finish on the rumble. Days. Start moving him up. Okay, I'll have us obviously getting decimated, but in the meanwhile. towards them, they can move up here. Scourges. This one can go over here. Okay, I think we got this now anyways. Let's wrap up the units we have got still with. Absolutely crushed. There we go, victory. More in my favour anyway, so self-expansion. Obviously you probably lost that unit, but 9200 for them. Cav them two obviously got the most because they're probably going to the slingers, which uh and Arch has got quite a few kills as well. There guys. Mediocre at best 30s. Obviously they got 214, but you know. I had to let them get some kills because obviously we were trying to move up etc so it was self expansion why that would happen.
Oh, absolutely massacred. Some of these guys are ranked up as well, which is good. Okay, now we can obviously attack the settlement. Who's took the most? Okay, so let's move them down. Okay, let's besiege her. Let's see if we can move this guy down. Yeah, we can. So minimal losses. He can move back up now because obviously we've got to protect that flank from any of the other settlements and we'll quickly take this. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to have any money to do it, but we'll do it on the next turn. Um, okay, we're going to do this one. We'll do cavalry. Because obviously they seem to be weak, a bit weaker than other ones. All recruits, morale. That'd be good, I think. Um, did I do those? Yeah. This one ranked up as well. I thought someone did. Um, we'll do infantry for that one. These can go back into the... They can go into the and this chap can obviously go up to here to see what they've got. Because I think we need two more settlements off him. So any one of these will do, to be honest. So we can push up and take any of them, and then we all we've got to do is take out um, the Etruscan League. But what I think I'll do, I'll just quickly end this turn so I can convert these things over, and then I'll end the part there. And the next part should, in theory, be the last part. Okay, let's do this. Might have to wait two turns actually, because we're not going to have enough money for both of these. We'll repair that one though. So those uh, and that one. So that one can move back up. And we'll move this guy down towards here, so you can make a push. Hopefully they haven't got any units, etc. What I might actually do is uh, I'll swap them into here. And let's see if they have got anything here. Nope, we can probably push up towards that now. Let's have a look at Selman. So we've got that as a full one now. Um, Burgundia. No, it's different. Okay. And I may be able to do the Colchis uh, campaign a little bit quicker. I've just got a, an email from my friend Dragonheart, who does my thumbnails at the moment. I'm going to be trying to get um, Photoshop for Christmas, so I can do it myself instead of pestering him to do it all the time. Because he has enough to do as it is, instead of doing my bloody thumbnails. I know he likes actually doing them, but obviously you're going to be quite busy some of the time, so... Shouldn't expect it, to be perfectly honest. Okay, let's move him up. We'll get him ready to pounce. We'll send this chap down to here. Let's get him to loop round. It's going to take a little while to get there. Lagging on me, man. Okay, we have to do one more turn because we've got to convert that over. We'll leave these in fortified mode ready to pounce onto there. And.
Okay, what well we got? Money, money, money. Okay, that's them. I'll just convert them over on the next part, and I think we'll get these to siege. Ready for annihilation for the next one. We won't be able to convert them over as yet, anyways. We do not have the funds for it, but it seems to be this will be next part will be the last one for the Sparkers Rises campaign. It's pretty much plain sailing now. We'll take two more settlements of these guys, maybe three if we're taking piss, and then uh, we'll move um, these fine fellows. We'll probably move them now actually towards Mutina. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, we can go through their lands anyways. Let's just stick him there. Let's take the bis, because we've got uh, military access with these guys, so... I'm going to stick him in there. Ready to take Florence on. We'll probably move one of our guys back, just in case to back up, but... That'll be it for this part. It looks like the Celts are pretty much on the run. They still got quite a few settlements there. If they've got all of Africa, etc. So they still have army stacks, and they have been a formidable force to take on. But once you take out three or four of their army stacks, they're pretty much just rebuilding all the time, or they're just a weak unit. So hope you enjoyed this part. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give us the uh, video a like; it always really helps me. And comment as well. See if you enjoy the series and what I could be potentially doing for another mod in the future, which I should have some time for, hopefully soon. So, catch you all in the next part.